holder of courage. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls themselves the holder of courage. The worker will respond by saying that there is no one by that name in this facility. Remain looking into their eyes. Do not look away for anything. Next, demand that they take you to the one who calls themselves the holder of courage. The worker will then rise from their seat and repeat themselves in a harsher tone. Do not back down. Repeat that you wish to visit the holder of courage. The worker will now get closer and in your face, now shouting that there is no one by that name. Do not flinch. Stand your ground. Firmly repeat that you wish to meet with the holder of courage. They will stare at you for what seems like ten minutes. Do not break your hold on their eyes. They will then ask you to follow them, and they will turn their back on you. Stay two feet behind the person at all times. Do not let your eyes wander. Keep them firmly on the back of the worker's head. If it was daylight when you entered, you will now see that it is dark. The building is now made of wood, and the doors have bars on them. Modern electricity has disappeared, and the hallway is lit by candlelight. You will reach a door, and the worker will stop and turn to you. Do not bump into him. Stop in your tracks, with your eyes still positioned with their eyes. They will then ask you if you are sure you want to meet the one called the Holder of Courage. Respond positively, and the worker's face will then melt. Do not show any fear. Respond negatively, and nothing will seem to happen. You may turn and run away from the worker. Just know that you are forever stuck in this dark, wooden prison for all eternity. The door will burst into flame and burn to ashes. When you see a chance, walk through the doorway. Do not wait too long for the door to burn, however, or you will slowly start to burn with it. Do not show any fear, and if you are burned by the embers, do not show pain. Inside, you will find a young girl, obviously a burn victim, waiting for you, a heart-shaped locket around her neck. Her eyes are white voids, and it is uneasy to look at her, but continue to watch her eyes. She will start to cry, and as her tears drop, the room will start to blaze, the flames licking away at you and her. You will feel the heat, but do not worry, for it is not affecting you. As the flames touch the girl's body, her burns and scars seem to disappear. Her hair will grow back as the flames get hotter and hotter. You are now free to show emotion. She will ask you, Are you scared? Approach her, take the locket from her neck, and tell her the truth. You'll find yourself back in front of the worker from before, who will then tell you that no one of that name is in this facility. Thank them and exit the building. In your hand, you should be holding the heart-shaped locket. Inside the locket is Object 309 of 538. Do you have the courage to keep them apart? 